talking about our life, our health, our children's health, our livelihoods, really. I hope I don't have to even explain to you how devastating it is when you just look to the left and look to the right and you just see rig after rig and flare after flare. And it's just really hard to know that everybody's breathing this in every day. We have to do something. I have to do something, you know? And so in my language, I said, hello, relatives. My name is Eagle Woman, and I am from, born and raised, Newtown, North Dakota. I'm Mandan Hiradza Rikara, and have been part of this Madlar delegation to New York City, to the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues for three years but they weren't in a row because I remember my daughter being different ages <laughs> and this year I wasn't able to go because I had a son so Madre came to Fort Berthold where we are now in my homelands to talk about the extraction that they've been hearing about you know since I've met the, the good folks at Madre about oil and gas development and fracking and meeting more really amazing women as part of this international women's delegation. this delegation, one of our main goal is to meet other um, indigenous people and exchange experience of what we are doing in the global view of what is indigenous struggles. Right now, our lands are sitting atop the uh, crude oil, the Bakken formation. And so we are target, we're a real target here. We've been a target for many years, but we don't realize it until recently. It takes people like us to say, wait a minute, we need regulatory um, requirements that protect us. And that's why we're here. That's why we started. It was like to find out what is it that we can do to start speaking in those terms and saying, this is what we need. You've heard what industry needs, you might have heard what a elected leader says, but this is what we need because we're, we live here. This is our land, we protect it, we're always going to be here, we want to make sure it's going to be protected for generations to come. We work all around the world with grassroots women's organizations in places where communities are dealing with the impacts of wars and climate change. And increasingly what we're seeing is the way that extractive industries are absolutely at the center. And being here in North Dakota, I think we're seeing what, what that kind of imperialism looks like and has looked like for a long time here in the United States. Issues of land is key to all of us as indigenous people. These are the same problems we are tackling back home. Simply because indigenous people's land have a lot of resources. And these resources sometimes is not something that you could say benefits indigenous people, but rather actually oppresses them in different ways. We all indigenous people's uh, human rights and uh, collective rights have been violated whether in Nepal or whether in Africa or whether it is in America. We also saw here how they were being affected, badly victimized by the extractive industries and how it has caused the bad effect on their health. There's been several spills. There's spills every day. This was one of the really, really, really big ones that still hasn't been cleaned up and it happened in 2014. And so we're going to see the site in the area 
and um, how destructive what what the industry just calls produced water or salt water how destructive that stuff is can really be with the toxicity that's in it, it, it this is what you call um, uh, basically dying from the from the inside out you can see it's black and um, I got multiple pictures of this area plus another area that's been affected by another brine spill but we'll never have these trees grow back again because you know they're they're dying it's definitely it's definitely taking its uh, taking its toll here not just here but you know in, in other areas for like 10 people in your family to have cancer until I left here and went to college and I started meeting other people who never knew anybody that had cancer. I was like, really? Because that's just our normal here. La minería extractiva es fruto de este sistema patriarcal que siempre ha estado en el Escuchando a cada uno de ustedes, me doy cuenta que tenemos muchas cosas en común. Bueno, una cosa muy interesante para mí, de África y de Kenia, I really found that the this has the same same problems. We have the same energy. We have so many things in common in our struggles. The strategy along the years uh, by the government was to reduce our living spaces more and more. We have been exploited and discriminated by the aggressive development, just like here. Indigenous women are leading together and we will rise towards a brighter future.